Hey everyone. So for me, it is still Tuesday. But for all y'all, it's like, I don't know, almost two o'clock Wednesday morning. Um, I'm making this video this early because I am, um, I'm still up, one, and two, because I have work tomorrow night, which is not an everyday occurrence for me. I don't tend to work Wednesdays. So, um, I've had a little bit of alcohol in me, which is pretty standard for a Tuesday night. Um, on Tuesdays, my, uh, my girlfriend Alyssa and I go out for, um, for drinks on Tuesday nights. And when I say girlfriend, I've known her for, I don't know, six years. She's my best friend in the entire world. And so she and I go out on Tuesday nights to a bar called The Bar in, um, I think it's in New Britain, maybe in Newington. It's like five minutes from both of our houses. We live literally a mile away from each other and we see each other once a week. Because we both work in restaurants and we have really weird, obnoxious hours because we both cook. So, um, yeah, we're usually at work until 10 or 11 at night on a regular basis. So Tuesday night's our night. So we go out for drinks, and so I've had a couple of beers, and it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So, anyway, this week's topic is about Bruce Jenner, and I think that it's a, um, as Ryan would say, it's a great topic. Um, I think it's actually something that's very important to talk about um, for multiple reasons. Um, so... First, I'm going to say that I'm very supportive of Bruce, and for the sake of this video, I'm considering that he hasn't given us a name that he would prefer to go by. We're going to go by Bruce, and considering that in the interview, Bruce stated that he wanted to go by male pronouns, though... For me, it was kind of unclear if he wanted to go by male pronouns during the interview for ease of interviewing, and then to go by female pronouns afterwards. I was a little bit unclear, so for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using male pronouns, because for me right now, it's very awkward to use Bruce and she, and so I'm going to use he, and if that's not what he wanted, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend. So anyway, I am very supportive of Bruce and his coming out as transgender. I think that it's a very difficult decision to come out as publicly as he did because he's in the spotlight, you know, he's in the media spotlight. And that's difficult, especially considering how the um, the media has not taken well, um, the mainstream media, I should say, has not taken very well to trans people. Um, I mean, there's a handful, Laverne Cox seems to be doing okay in the media, um, Aiden, who is in the running for um, the um, cover of Men's Health, is doing fairly well for himself, but... In general, um, being trans in the media is not looked on very well. And so I understand how difficult it is to come out without being in the spotlight. And being in the media must make it a thousand times harder. Because not only is does, does Bruce need to be true to himself in his transition and be supportive of his family and get his family support, he has the entire world watching him. And I see how hard it is for Ryan just having the people he knows watch him. I couldn't imagine. Like, to put it into a little bit of perspective, I guess, before Ryan transitioned, he was a musician. He still is a musician. Um, but he was fairly successful in the local circuit. And when he decided to come out as trans, he cut himself off completely from his music. He essentially is starting over. 
because he knew that transitioning while continuing to be where he was in his music career could um, be detrimental to him and it could also be confusing for a lot of people. There was a lot of issues. So I get it. By the way, um, my cats got fixed the other day. So if you see a cat with a cone, that's why. Um, so I, I get how hard it is and I, I feel for him because I know how difficult it is and I feel for his family. Oh, sorry. There's Carmen. Um, I see how, how, how difficult it is not being in the spotlight and I just can imagine how bad it is. I also feel for him because I guess being such a household name through his Olympic career, as well as through Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which I've never watched. I was never really into the reality TV to begin with. Um, if I was in that situation, I think that I would feel like how I acted would be seen as, okay, well, this is how every trans person is. Because a lot of people don't understand that everybody's transition is different. And so he has very quickly become the noticeable face of transition. And that has to be horribly difficult. So I offer him the greatest amount of support I can give. And obviously we are a no judgment group. We are very supportive of anyone and everyone as long as you're respectful, and I wish him the absolute best with his transition, with his family, and I hope that it goes smoothly for him, and I hope that he can navigate this entire process in the simplest way that he can, in the smoothest way that he can. That being said, um, I did watch the entire interview, and I thought that for what it was, the interview was wonderful. What I have issue with the fact is, oh, that didn't make sense. The issue that I have is that I feel like this really shouldn't be news. Um, you know, I have a professor who is a wonderful, wonderful professor who is my, um, thesis advisor for my undergraduate thesis. And I love him to death. He is a wonderful man, and he and I do not see eye to eye on almost everything. But he posted an article. I don't remember exactly where it was, but he posted it on Facebook today. Basically saying how there's so much more important news it's going on internationally. And it bothers me a little bit that this is news. I understand that it is very important for the trans community, and I understand that Bruce felt it was important for his coming out to explain what was going on to the public, because he's in the public eye. But there's so many more important, pressing things that our country needs to deal with. And yet, Bruce Jenner transitioning from male to female, got a two-hour interview. You know, I guess in my mind, what somebody does in their personal life shouldn't be news. What somebody wants to do for themselves shouldn't be news. What someone does to make themselves happy shouldn't be news. That's what they want to do because it's for them. And so, though, I think that the interview was wonderful, and I think that the interview was something that was needed... I don't think that it should have gotten the media attention that it did. I think that what Bruce wants to do should between, be between Bruce and his therapist and his endocrinologist and his family. Because that is his mental health, his physical health, and his emotional health. And I don't think that it should have gotten the media attention that it did. I know that if I was in this situation, I would want to transition privately. You know, I would want my life to be mine. 
and I get that that's hard being in the media, but I don't know, it just irks me. And I don't know if that makes me a bad person, I don't know if that makes me a bad advocate or a bad supporter, because I do think that the interview was necessary to show what, or to show that being trans is not the end of the world, it's not, um, basically the, tra the trans people are normal, they're just everyday people, and I get that, and I see why that's important. I just wish that things that were important for national security and national everything um, with what's going on in Iraq and Nigeria and the earthquake in Nepal and there are so many more pressing things that we need to be focusing on, especially the riots that have been happening in Baltimore, um, which also is not getting the right media attention, in my personal opinion. Um, I think that there are more important things that need to be addressed than what somebody wants to do for themselves. So that's my take on it. Ricky, I will miss you terribly. I will miss your videos every week. We will stay in touch, I promise. And I hope that you keep in touch and do you. I want you to do you and do what you need to do for you and understand that I will always be here for you day or night. If I'm at work, I'll get back to you when I'm out of work. And I love you with all of my heart and I hope that you have the best life you can. If you need anything, we're here. Other than that, um, again, my boyfriend has been taking over T Nation. They are looking for, at this point, a Wednesday and Saturday guy. So, I think it's Wednesday, maybe Tuesday, but I think it's Wednesday and Saturday that they're looking for. So, if you or your partner is interested, please, um, I will leave contact information in the doobly-doo down below. And it is 2 o'clock in the morning and I need to go to bed. So, yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I will see you all next week. Good night.